We'll have to see. I mean, I'll I'll get my test back either tonight or tomorrow morning. But I, you know, I spend a lot of time with Hope, and so does the First Lady. Right away, a news alert out of the White House. We are waiting for them to release the results of President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump's coronavirus test results. And the president just tweeting that a couple uh, is the couple right now is beginning the quarantine process. A lot of this coming in rapidly. This is Nightside on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Carolina Lee. So he was scheduled to visit Central Florida tomorrow, but now that does not seem likely. All of this after one of the president's closest aides tested positive for COVID-19. Hope Hicks traveled with the president several times this week, not only heading to the debate in Ohio, but also for a rally in Minnesota. So who is Hope Hicks? She was named counselor to the president back in February. She previously served as the White House communications director from August of 2017 until March of 2018. The president spoke about this on Fox News tonight. I just went for a test and we'll see what happens. I mean, who knows? But you know Hope very well. She's fantastic and she's done a great job. But it's very, very hard uh, when you are with people from the military or for law enforcement and they come over to you and they they want to hug you and they want to kiss you because we really have done a good job for them. And you get close and things happen. I was surprised to hear with Hope, but she's a very warm person with them. And she she knows there's a risk. Hicks is now the closest aide to the president to test positive. Now, despite rigorous testing for anyone who comes in contact with the president, several of his aides have been infected, including National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, uh, a White House valet, a spokesperson for Vice President Mike Pence, and an advisor on the Trump campaign. Now, right now, we are waiting for the White House to tell us the results of the president and the first lady's own COVID-19 test.